The communist forces made do with what they had, sometimes modern weapons, sometimes weapons that could only be described as primitive. Much of the time they improvised, using captured weapons or manufacturing their own. They were at the least ingenious, as Bernard Kalb reported in 1968. The Viet Cong today get their most sophisticated weapons from the communist countries, but a dud U.S. bomb is a gift from heaven. The bomb is defused. The steel casing is used to make shrapnel. The TNT is carefully collected. It will be used for grenades, mines, and mortar shells. A discarded tin can is filled with TNT and pieces of metal and glass. It is then set into the ground and camouflaged, a homemade mine. Some of these mines will explode when a tripwire is kicked. Some will explode on contact. The Viet Cong have also dug into their own Vietnamese history. They have rediscovered traditional weapons that were used against enemies of the past. can drop a wasp's nest on your head. This arsenal may be old-fashioned, but it's lethal. A tiger trap for men. These razor-sharp spikes of bamboo are often poisoned with human feces. These punchy sticks are so dangerous that all American combat boots now have soles lined with steel. Their strategy calls for constant sabotage, and their sabotage is selective. The Viet Cong study their targets in miniature. Planning can take weeks, sometimes months. The explosives are prepared. Bridges, buildings, roads, tanks, convoys. Everything that's American or South Vietnamese is a likely target. Reconnaissance finds the railroad bridge unguarded. The result is predictable. in South Vietnam operates for long, the Viet Cong have seen to that. An ambush, an act of war in which the guerrillas excel. The targets here are tanks and armored personnel carriers manned by South Vietnamese troops. From out of the jungle, a sudden barrage of Viet Cong firepower, followed by the Viet Cong. This film comes from communist sources. It is the kind of combat film that the VC show to their new recruits for morale purposes. It's all part of what the Viet Cong call the four quicks and a slow. The quicks are advance, assault, clear the battlefield, and withdraw. The one slow is preparation, like ambushing this column of tanks and blowing the bridge. The quick withdrawal is often total disappearance. This is a carefully camouflaged doorway leading into a network of tunnels that the Viet Cong have dug throughout South Vietnam. You will notice that some of the Viet Cong are women. The VC regard women as equals, and as equals, they fight. The tunnels enable the VC to disappear in the midst of a battle and to reappear when the killing looks good. 
This is a typical Viet Cong tunnel complex, dug more than 25 feet below an ordinary Vietnamese village. Below ground, some rooms are as large as a living room. They may house a hospital, a small weapons factory. Above ground, there is an early warning system. The tunnels have several entrances, below the surface of a pond, under a hut floor, under an animal pen, a well, a haystack. The Viet Cong can go in one entrance, exit a mile and a half away.